Okay. Just don't go on too high at Ega God. That's the proper greeting when you're uh, greeting a, uh, more than one person. And that's just a, a very respectful way of saying, how were you? How were all of you through the night? And so today, I know I've said this before, I'm going to be uh, I'm kind of being repetitive with some things, but yet I'm using new terms today that I haven't gone over within this uh, class form. Today, I'm going to use the terms imabo hejida, that means to obey. Afastida means to serve, to take care, to minister. Ajayijida, to protect and to preserve. Uh, we can use those, but I'm mainly going to go over imabo hejida. And I'm going to use that as part of this class. And I've said this before, I've gone over this past tense, singular tenses for the first person and so forth. And I'm going to start with the first person past tense singular. That is a reference to, to I, that I have done something in the past, like maybe a day ago. And this is represented by the letters I, V, and K, S, and it's pronounced Aunx. Aunx. And uh, I've stated this before that you've got to drop the ETV off the uh, off of the root words, off of the term Imabo Hejida. You'll need to drop the ETV off of there and you'll add the letters I, V, and K, S. And it becomes Imabo Hejianx. Imabo Hejianx. Now I'm going to put a sentence together with that. I'm going to say, Ummahaya, Imabo Hejianx. That means I obeyed my teacher. Amahaya, Imabo Hejianx, Imabo Hejianx, I obeyed my teacher. Now, if I'm saying, if I'm in reference to you as a singular person, and, uh, and I take the uh, Imabo Hejid, I'm going to drop the ETB, and I'm going to add, add Ed Skunks on the end of it. And it becomes Imabo Hejid Skunks. And that means, and then, and if I say Chimahaya, Imabo Hejid Skunks, that means you obeyed your teacher. Remember, we're always dropping the ETV and we're putting these verb tenses in place of that. And so always remember that. Once you really get these down into your mind and be repetitive with this, it's really going to help you in learning the Muscogee language. And it's really helped me. Once again, I'll state the, uh, the statement that it was told by a friend of mine. His name is Ussie Deer. He told me years ago, you learn these verb tenses, you have a solid foundation in learning the Muscogee language. And I'm going to reiterate this again. Learn the alphabet and learn these verb tenses. Really study them and also take these classes as much as you can. I'm going into the third person singular tense. And this one is indicated by the BNKS. And this is talking about a person outside of you and I. And it's and this verb tense is pronounced unx. It's pronounced unx. Is that you in the chat? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And it's pronounced unx. And you're going to once again drop the ETV. And you're going to put these letters in place of ETV. And, uh, and, and you do that on Mabo Hejida. And it becomes Imabo Hejunx. And when, if I say Imahaya, Imabo Hejunx, that's saying he, she obeyed his teacher. He, she obeyed his teacher. I'm going to say that again. Imahaya, Imabo Hejunx. He, she obeyed his teacher. Now I'm going to go back and kind of review again. I really want people to get these down because I really want people to learn the language. And uh, remember, 
When I go back to first person, uh, past tense singular, you're going to drop the ETV off of there. And you're going to add the I-V-N-K-S, which is once again pronounced A-U-X. A-U-X. And, and when I add it to Imabo Hegeda, it becomes Imabo Hegeunx. Now I can say Amahaya. Now I can change that. Now some people use uh, uh, might use Chuskelgi for parents or Chuskelgi, Chuskelgi for like my parents. So I can say Chuskelgi. In Mabohajians, I obeyed my parents. Or I might say Chapuja, my grandpa. Chapuja. In Mabohajians, I obeyed my grandpa. Now, what I want you guys to get used to is to is to start forming your own sentences. You know, you, uh, get out your dictionaries and start trying to form your own sentences using these examples as well. And I'm gonna go back to Mabohaj uh, for second persons past tense singular. Remember where. We're dropping the ETV off of Yamabo Hejida, and we're putting et skunks on the end of it. And it becomes Yamabo Hejit skunks. Yamabo Hejit skunks. And I could say, uh, 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 I might say, Chimbuja. Uh, Chimbuja means you're like your grandpa. Yamabo Hejit skunk, you obeyed your grandpa. Once again, on the third person, another person outside of you and I, it's always indicated by the BNKS, and you're gonna you're gonna substitute it for the ETV in the marble hajita, and it becomes the marble hajunks, the marble hajunks, and I can say uh, in Mahaya, the marble hajunks, that he obeyed his teacher. Now we're going to go on to the present tense, singular tense. And this one is indicated by the letter uh, IS, and this is for the first person singular present tense. And I can use, I can say, Ummahaya, Imabo Hey Jazz, Ummahaya, Imabo Hey Jazz, I'm obeying my teacher. You drop that ETV off of there and you're going to put the letters IS on the end of it. And, it's, uh, and it becomes Once again, I'll use that sentence again. I'm Mahaya. I'm obeying my teacher. This is Amahaya in my bohages, in my bohages. I'm obeying my teacher. I'm obeying my teacher. You're going to drop that ETV off of there and you're going to put the letters IS on the end of it. Always remember that in the present tense. And you're going to be using that a lot when you're speaking. We'll go on the second person, present tense. And this is indicated by the, uh, this is talking about you doing something present. And it's, and you're going to have the letters E-T-S-K-E-S -E to indicate that. And once again, you're going to drop the letters E-T-S. I mean, uh, E-T-V off the Imabo Hejida. And it's going to become Imabo Hejitskis. Excuse me, Mabohajitskis. And I could say, Shimahaya, Mabohajitskis, you are obeying your teacher. You are obeying your teacher. Now, Chim means you. And uh, when he put it with Mahaya at the beginning, it's saying your teacher. Chimahaya, Imabo Hajitskis, 
Mabo Hejitskis, you are obeying your teacher. Now we go to third person singular present tense. This is in reference to a person outside of you and I, and they're doing something uh, presently. And it's indicated by the letters ES. And it's got that short the E sound in there, and it's like a S, S, just like that. S. And so you're going to put those letters in place of ETV. And it's going to become, in the word Imabo Hejida, it's going to become Imabo Hejis. Imabo Hejis. Now, I can say Imahaya, Imabo Hejis. It's, it's indicating that he, she is obeying his teacher. M can be in reference to him, Mahaya. Mahaya. So when I put M or saying his, and then I'm saying his teacher. Now we're going on to the future tense. Now the first person singular tense is always going to have the, uh, the letters A-R-E-S. And that will be put in place of ETV. Office. Office. That means I will do something in the future. And when you put it on the end of Imabo Hejida, replacing the ETV, it becomes Imabo Hejathis. Imabo Hejathis. And so I could say, Amahaya. Um, Imabo Hage office. That means I will obey my teacher. I will obey my teacher. And then now uh, you can also, I mean, when you get your own time, just try to put, you know, different words. You know, like if uh, uh, might want to practice, I might want to do this if I get stopped by the police. I'm definitely going to obey the police. I might say, Istiwanaya, Imabo Hejats. I will obey the, the, uh, the police, the police officer. And we're going on to the second person, future tense. Second person. And this is indicated by the letters E T S K V R E S. And it's, it's pronounced Etskadis. It's goodies. And you're going to drop once again the letter CTV. <laughs> and you're going to put this ending on the, lit, in the, on the end of a Mabo Hejita. And it becomes the Mabo Hejit Scuddies. Mabo Hejit Scuddies. And I'm going to say Chimahaya. The Mabo Hejit Scuddies. That means you will obey your teacher. You will obey your teacher. And so, you know, these are good uh, statements to have. If you got children, you definitely want to put this, get them to learn this, you know, because you want them to obey their teachers when they go to school. Want them to be good kids. Third person, future tense, for a singular person outside of you and I is indicated by the letters V-R-E-S. V-R-E-S. And you put it on the end of the, the word of Imabo Hejida. You want to drop that E-T-V and it becomes Imabo Hejadis. Imabo Hejadis. And, uh, and I could say Imahaya. Imabo Hejadis. That means he, she will obey their teacher. He, she will obey their teacher. And once again, I'll say this again. I mean, try to take other verbs, root words out of your dictionaries and start trying to apply these examples for yourself uh, in your own personal study. And you keep doing this and you're going to get better at the language. And uh, now I'm going to go into the plural tenses. Talking about more than one person. The first person plural tense is talking about 
we, we, and uh, and I'm going into the past tense, like we did something, and um, and this is indicated uh, by the letters E V and K S, and it's pronounced eunks, eunks. I can say pumahaya. Now remember, I'm dropping those letters ETV, and I'm adding uh, and I'm adding eunks at the end. What that means is we obeyed our teacher. We obeyed our teacher. Anybody have any questions so far? Carolyn, have any questions? Yeah. That P would say boom, Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking English. Sorry, I stand correct. Boom, Mahaya. Imabohagiunks. So I stand corrected, folks. Boom, Mahaya. Imabohagiunks. Boom, meaning like our. Imabohagiunks. We obeyed our teacher. Thank you, Miss Carolyn. Thank you, Miss. And uh, now we get on to past tense, plural, talking about you as plural, you as more than one person. And this is indicated by the letters ATSK, VNKS, and it's Otskunks, Otskunks, Otskunks. And once again, we're going to drop the letters ETV, and we're going to add the odd skunks at the end. And we do this for Mabohajida, and it becomes Imabohajat skunks. Mabohajat skunks. And I could say Mahaya Imabohajat skunks, it's talking about you as a group, have obeyed the teacher. Once again, you're going to drop the letters ETV, and you're going to let, add uh, at at skunk, at skunks at the end, and it's going to become imabohejat skunks. That means you obeyed the teacher. You obey the teacher. Once again, I do advise. I mean, please try to pick different. Um, verbs out of the or dictionaries and, and then try to do this for yourselves at home and keep doing it. Now we're talking about another group, another people outside of you and I, it's, it's called third person plural past tense. And that's indicated by the letters uh, uh, A, K, V, and K, S, and it's pronounced agunks, agunks. Agons. And if I put that ending on the uh, uh, on the end of Mabohejda, take the ETV out, it becomes Imabohejagons. Imabohejagons. I could say Imahaya. Imabohejagons. They have obeyed their teacher. They have obeyed their teacher. That's the third person plural past tense. It's a reference to a, uh, some people outside of you and I. And you're talking about them. Once again, I'm going to repeat that statement. They have obeyed their teacher. They have obeyed their teacher. Now we're going into the first person, plural, present tense. And uh, on the end of that, when we sub take the letters ETV off, we're going to let, add the letters ES. But that E is going to have a long E sound. It's going to be E's. E's. And so... When I want to say we are obeying, 
in Muskogee, I was Imabo Imabo Hages. Imabo Hages. I could say Boom Mahaya Imabo Hages. We are obeying our teacher. Boom Mahaya Imabo Hages. We are obeying our teacher. That's present tense for us doing something like right now. Mabo Hages, we are obeying. Now I'm going to go into the second person, plural, present tense. Or uh, if I'm saying you, like you guys, you as a group, and uh, if I say Mahaya, Mabo Hages, I'm saying you as a group are obeying the teacher. Once again, that's indicated by the letters A-T-S-K-E-S. And it, uh, you substitute it for the letters E-T-B in Mabo Hejida. And it becomes in Mabo Hejitskis. And so that's for the uh, second person plural present tense. Anybody have any questions so far? Now I'm going to get on to the third person plural present tense. That's talking about a group of uh, people that's outside of you and I. They're doing something uh, just recently or they're doing it presently. And I'm using the uh, uh, the root or the the verb tense marble hegida. Once again, I'm going to drop etv, and the letters for these for this are indicated by the letters a k e s. And I'm going to drop etv, and I'm going to add the letters a k e s at the end. And I'm going to uh, use this sentence right here: Mahaya in marble hegidas. Mahaya Imabohe Jagis, they are obeying the teacher. They are obeying the teacher. Once again, you're going to drop the letters ETB off of Mabohe Jida, and you're going to add the letters A K E S, and it becomes Imabohe Jagis. That means they are obeying. And you can use Mahaya. You can also use different words. You don't have, just have to use Mahai. You can say, you know, uh, 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 maybe the police are pulling security at a at a school. You know, you can say Istiwanaya. If you want to say more than one police, you can say Istiwanayogi. And in Mabohe they are obeying obeying the officers. Now I'm going to go into first person, plural, future tense. If I'm going to say that we will do something in the future, it is always indicated by the letters E-Y-V-R-E-S at the end. And once again, the letters E-T-V are going to be dropped. And E-Y-V-R-E-S are going to be added. And if I use a Mabohegi, which I've been using, it's going to become Imabohegiades. Imabohegiades. And if I say, boom, Mahaya, Imabohegiades, we will obey our teacher. We will obey our teacher. And once again, that ETV has to be dropped. And E-Y-B-R-E-S will be added. That's to indicate we will do something in the future. Mabohe Giades. Mabohe Giades. Now, if you want another group, or if you're going to talk about another group of people, or actually, I'm sorry, I'm talking about you as plural, you as a group, that you guys are going to do something in the future. I would say, ask 
at studies, at studies, at studies, and then if I take the ETV off of Mabel Hegeda, and I put that on the end of that word, it becomes Imabo He Jat Scuddies. Imabo He Jat Scuddies. I think that's way correct pronounced. Imabo He Jat Scuddies. And then if I say Mahaya, Imabo He Jat Scuddies, you will obey the teacher. You will obey the teacher. Now, if you got kids at home, you might want to say that to your kids. Muscogee, because you want them to obey their teachers. Mahaya, Imabohe Jatskadis, you will obey the teacher, you plural. Now, if I want to say, talk about another group of people outside of you and I, if I want to say that they will obey the teacher. I'm going to drop that uh, the ETV off at Mabo Hegeda, and I'm going to add A-K-V-R-E-S at the end. And it's going to become Imabo He Zagadis, Imabo He Zagadis, Mahaya Imabo He Zagadis, they will obey the teacher. That's what you're saying. Imabo He Zagadis, they will obey the teacher. And these are some other examples of, of verbs that you can use. Hayada means to make. Nishida, Isida means to sell. Hayijida means to play like an instrument. Hayijida. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Wait a wait a. I stand corrected, folks. Nisida is to buy. Nisida is to buy. Uh, so please disregard that. Nisida is to buy. Hayijida is to play. Now I got it right down here. I didn't pay attention to that. I said, Ottoman, Ottoman, we'll just in these days. I said, I am buying a new car. And so, um, Nisida means to buy. She is right. She is right. Now you can say, Shubu Mojazi, Shubu Mojazi, high office. I will build a new house. I will build a new house. Or you can say, Hayitska, Hayitskadis, you will play a fiddle. You will play a fiddle. Muskogi Obanaga, Ajaija, this, I will preserve the Muskogi language. Pumadelagi Afastis, I'm trying to say, we are serving our elders. So please disregard that. I had the wrong definition there. Um, I guess I was typing too fast. And uh, but it was it means uh, it means to buy, means to buy for Nisida, means to buy. Wayida means to sell. So I want to thank Carolyn for pointing that out, pointing that out to me. But down here I do have it right. Ottoman, Ottoman Mujasi Nises. I am buying a new car. Now, Ottoman can be Ottoman, Ottoman, Mujasi, Nisays. Anybody else have a question? I want to thank you, Carol, for pointing that out. Yeah. Anybody online have any questions? Now, tomorrow I'm going to try to have some questions uploaded um, on how you can ask in past tense and, and uh, future tense and things like that. And uh, 
But once again, please get these verb tenses down. And um, once you get a strong foundation of the verb tenses, you will have a good foundation to go further with the language. And it's really going to help you. I promise you it will. Learn the alphabet. Learn the sounds of the alphabet. This, uh, <coughs> Miss Becky Barnett, she teaches very good, outstanding classes, very professional classes on the Muscogee language. And she goes over the sounds very much in depth. If you can have time to take her classes, please do. She goes over the alphabet. She goes, like I said, she goes over the different sounds of these letters. And, um, and she had stated that our language is sound and it's really in, in sounds. I remember my great grandmother, there's ways that she would talk Greek. She would extend the words and uh, she was putting a whole lot of emphasis in the way that she sounded the language. And that makes a whole lot difference. And, uh, and that makes, to me, that makes the language much more exciting to learn. And, uh, um, Anybody else have any questions? I scold you anything? Split the, are, you, are you looking? Yeah. Um, so we should probably mention that next week we'll be at camp. Okay. We're going to try to do classes with you guys still, but if it is not be good. Okay, okay. Well, next week we're going to be at camp and we're going to try to still do classes, but if there's internet problems, uh, we probably won't be able to do so, and uh, just please be patient with us. And uh, but we're going to be in class. I mean, at camp next week, and so please be mindful of that. And so there's a good chance that we won't be able to have classes next week. Uh, anything else? Uh, just that we're still going to have classes the rest of this week. Okay, and we're still going to have classes the rest of this week. I just thought start that the day. Okay. okay. So they're not surprised on Friday. Okay. Okay, uh, we're still going to have classes this week, and uh, and uh, just just but just to let you know that we probably may may have to cancel for next week, and so if there's any not any more questions, uh, any, anybody you have any questions? Okay. All right, mud eagles, that is all, folks. And you guys have a have a good day today. By the way.